पीपल्स पाकिस्तान स्टैंडर्ड टाइम अस्सलाम वालेकुम दिस इज रेडियो पाकिस्तान द न्यूज़ रेड बाय आयशा नायाब फर्स्ट द हेडलाइंस इंफॉर्मेशन मिनिस्टर ब्रीफिंग द मीडिया अबाउट डिसीजंस टेकन इन द फेडरल कैबिनेट मीटिंग हेल्ड इन इस्लामाबाद टुडे विद द प्राइम मिनिस्टर इन द चेयर अर्ज द ओपोजिशन टू पुट फॉरवर्ड सजेशंस फॉर इलेक्टोरल रिफॉर्म्स टू इंश्योर ट्रांसपेरेंसी इन द इलेक्शन प्रोसेस इकोनॉमिक कोऑर्डिनेशन कमेटी हैज अप्रूव्ड अ सप्लीमेंट्री ग्रांट ऑफ 215 मिलियन रुपीस फॉर इलेक्शन कमीशन टू होल्ड इलेक्शंस इन कंटोनमेंट बोर्ड्स Foreign minister has urged the world to remain vigilant of spoilers in Afghanistan discriminating between those standing for peace and those causing disruption. United States has concluded its 20 years longest war in Afghanistan as the last US plane left Kabul airport. Taliban spokesman has hailed the departure of US troops from Afghanistan terming it a historic moment. In Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir APHC says seven decade long resistance movement is an ample proof that Kashmiris have never accepted New Delhi's false claim on the territory. And now the news in detail. Minister for Information and Broadcasting Chaudhry Fawad Hussain has urged the opposition to put forward their suggestions for electoral reforms to ensure transparency in the election process. He was briefing media in Islamabad this afternoon about the decisions taken in the federal cabinet which met in Islamabad today with Prime Minister Imran Khan in the chair. The minister said the government will give due consideration to opposition's proposals on electoral reforms to ensure credible elections in the country. He said the government is taking special measures to facilitate overseas Pakistanis. He said the cabinet was informed that 16,272 Pakistani citizens detained in various countries on trivial charges have been brought back to Pakistan as a result of sternness efforts of the government. Fawad Chaudhry said Islamabad is also engaging Moscow for enhancing bilateral cooperation in the energy sector especially for the laying of a gas pipeline from Russia to Pakistan. He said this project will open up a new vistas of economic development for both the countries. Chaudhry Fawad Hussain said the cabinet was informed that efforts are being made to bring Pakistan out of UK's red list. Minister for Information and Broadcasting said Pakistan is committed to extend every possible assistance and cooperation to the people of Afghanistan. He said Pakistan International Airlines is the only air service in the world which carried medical aid to Mazar-e-Sharif to help the Afghan brethren. He said we are extending maximum cooperation for the evacuation of foreigners from Afghanistan and so far facilitated withdrawal of 10302 foreigners. President Dr Arif Alvi has called for adopting artificial intelligence to cope with the challenges of changed global dynamics addressing a conference on artificial intelligence in Islamabad today he said Pakistan has to prepare a generation well equipped with the knowledge of artificial intelligence and cyber security to become a strong nation The Economic Coordination Committee has approved a summary of aviation division for provision of funds to meet emergent liabilities of the Roosevelt Hotel Corporation. The meeting chaired by the finance minister Shaukat Irin directed to exercise due diligence in meeting emergent liabilities and submit utilization report. The committee also directed to engage a world class cons- consultant to meet the financial and operational challenges faced by Roosevelt. The ECC also approved a technical supplementary grant of 215 million rupees for election commission to hold local elections in cantonment boards and another grant of 50100 million rupees for extending rupee cover against financing by the Asian Development Bank of 300 million dollars for procurement of covid-19 vaccine and ancillary goods and services. This is Radio Pakistan. Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi has urged the world community to stay engaged with Afghanistan 
for peace and stability there. Addressing a joint news conference with his German counterpart Heiko Maas after delegation-level talks in Islamabad today, he said humanitarian assistance must flow in and economic collapse of Afghanistan must be averted. The foreign minister warned against repeating mistakes of the past, saying that abandoning Afghanistan is not an option as it will have serious consequences. Shami Qureshi said the world should remain vigilant of spoilers in Afghanistan, the screening between those standing for peace and the spoilers. He said recent statements made by the Taliban are encouraging and positive. However, they will have to act on the pronouncements and respect the human rights and national norms. The German foreign minister speaking on the occasion expressed his gratitude to Pakistan for playing a significant role in evacuation of foreign nationals including Germans from of Kabul. He said Germany is closely coordinating with Pakistan and Afghan issue as well as bilateral relations. Taliban say they have taken control of the Kabul airport following withdrawal of the U.S. troops from Afghanistan. Talking to media at Kabul International Airport, Taliban spokesman Zabihullah Mujahid hailed the departure of U.S. troops as a historic moment, declaring that country has now gained full independence. He said the Islamic Emirate of uh, Afghanistan is a free and sovereign nation now and the Americans failed to achieve their goal through military operations. Earlier, the United States completed withdrawal of its forces from Afghanistan, ending the 20 years invasion. In press briefing in Washington, Washington U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Bilkin said the United States has suspended its diplomatic presence in Kabul and transferred its operations to Doha. The United States has concluded its longest 20-year war in Afghanistan as the last U.S. plane left the Kabul airport. Addressing a press conference at the Pentagon, the head of U.S. Central Command, General Kent F. McKinsey Jr., formally announced the completion of U.S. withdrawal from Afghanistan. He told the press that the last two officials were General Christopher Donahue and acting American Ambassador Ross Wilson. He said although the military evacuation is complete, yet the diplomatic mission to extract remaining Americans and eligible Afghans who want to leave continues. In Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, all parties Hurriyat Conference has said that a seven-decade-long struggle against India's illegal occupation proves that Kashmiris have never accepted India's false claim on the territory. The APHC spokesman said this in response to the assertions made by the Indian Defence Minister Rajnath Singh, wherein he boosted that Jammu and Kashmir is an integral part of India. He termed the remark as a cruel joke, which betrays the ignorance of the Indian Defence Minister about the history of Kashmir. Jammu and Kashmir Muslim Conference, Jammu and Kashmir People's League, Jammu and Kashmir Muslim League and Islami Tanzeem Azadi in their statement said that India has waged a war against unarmed Kashmiri people. They said that Indian troops were committing war crimes against innocent Kashmiris. Meanwhile, posters continue to appear in the occupied territory, urging people to forge greater unity to get rid of India's brutal occupation. The recent death of a prisoner reportedly from police torture in Tehar jail has raised the alarm bells for the safety of Hurriyat detainees lodged in the jail. The United States and Japan have agreed for joint efforts under a climate partnership to decarbonize the world. During a meeting with Japanese Prime Minister Yohei Tsogo in Tokyo today, the U.S. climate envoy John Kerry underlined the need of solid measures to curb carbon emissions and flight climate change. He warned the world of threat of climate change and urged to control rising temperature on the planet. On the occasion, Japan Premier vowed to reduce carbon emission as high as 50% in line with the European Union. In Estonia, Mr. Alar Karis has been elected country's new president today. Being the sole candidate in presidential election, he won, he won the second round of voting in the parliament. The incumbent president, Khertsi Kalajo, was not supported by the government centre party and the reform party. And finally, the weather. Rain, a wind, a thunder shower with isolated heavy falls is expected in Kashmir, Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, Islamabad, Punjab, Gilgit, Baltistan, Northeast Balochistan and Sindh during the next 12 hours. Hot and humid weather is likely to prevail elsewhere in the country. 
And that is the end of the news. For more news and analysis, log on to our website radio.gov.pk and also watch live video streaming of our bulletin on the link facebook.com forward slash Radio Pakistan News Official.